The world's warm-up group stage has ended and early attacks is one of the teams who qualified for the main tournament. What bases and what attack strategies they use to advance to the next stage, that's exactly what we're going to take a look at in this video. If you're planning on buying any in-game items, then make sure that you're using a greater code. To support this channel it would be code RHBB. Thanks a lot and now let's continue with the video. First, we're gonna take a look at this hit from Yara. We'll get to the bases at the end of the video. If we're only here for the bases there are time cards within the video you can just skip to the end or you can take a look at the description you will find the base links there. Now, what's so interesting about how these pros actually play root riders within such a short time is they normally use the queen separated from the main attack so you will see right here the queen together with the headhunter on the right side she'll walk into the multi inferno tower compartment we'll get that whole side then the root riders together with like a lock launcher the warden as well as the king through the main push and then the rc in the middle you get all three sides of the base you get the right side with the queen, you get the middle with the RC, and you get the left side together with your root riders and your king and your warden, etc. And they managed to do these attacks within 1 minute 30. You don't have to be this quick. You can, you can just take your time. You can take your time only if you're half as good as these professional players. You're good to go. And to be honest, with Root Riders, you are of course not going to make too many mistakes. What I also find very very interesting is they are actually using the Hawk Rider Puppet. Together with the Haze Vial, Haze Vial of course is, well, by far the best equipment there is. But together with the Hawk Puppet, you just have a little extra power, you have a little extra time you can squish out of that attack. Which is very, very interesting. Let's now take a look at the other variation of the exact same tactic, now on a different base as well, now in a box base. Here, you actually use the barracks to funnel one side, and then Achilles uses the queen to funnel the left side together, well, with the healer puppet this time. Just so the queen, whenever you use the ability, she can live on for just a little longer. And then just straight up send in everything through the town hall. He does not funnel with like a root runner on each side and then everything through the main push. No, he uses the queen on one side, then he barracks on another side. And very important, use your skeleton spells to tank any ricochet cannons, any scatter shots, single and foreign towers. He was very, very smart. He saw that this base has, well, two single and foreign towers in the core. So he brought like five to six skeleton spells just to tank those throughout like all the time, all the time. Still has the queen ability, there is not much damage left for the queen. So the healer puppet will have a lot of value. The queen will have full life again and you will have like a little queen walk which will, well, start at the end of the attack. And now you can already see this base is just completely gone. 20 seconds left in a replay. Again, a very, very fast attack. You don't have to be this fast. You can take your time. You can take your absolute sweet time. And then there is no reason how you should even fail with root riders while they are this strong. And while the pros, well, show you exactly how to do it. Now let's take a look at this base from Yara. Well, the base is actually built by Smith, one of our ESL and Legends League base builders over at Art's base building he has now built for early attacks for a very long long time for lost world championship uh, for example and now also for the world's warm-up and this base you can already see well i mean personally i wouldn't want to attack this base it looks very very disgusting of course he has like these two ricochet and well one of the air hero setups which is very very annoying you either have it in the back end or you have it in one of the flanks so he zaps out the back end actually and then just sends in his root riders straight for the core but you can already see the ice columns come out perfectly and the monolith will be onto your troops whenever the ice columns come out and that is what makes this base so incredibly good you can see 
The king is just gone instantly. The king can do nothing. Completely frozen due to the ice golems and the monolith is just shooting down on those troops and taking one root right down after the other. Then you still have one poison tower in the back end, which is going to slow your troops for such a long time. So the town hall is now also able to do a lot, a lot of work. Queen, of course, is not in the main push because his pros used them separated from the main push just to, well, be a little quicker with the attack because they are forced to do their attack within 1 minute 30. Now this attack is already over 1 minute 30 and of course is also going to fail. It's not even going to work. Only the RC left. RC now also goes down. Doesn't even have a Hawk Puppet nor a Haste Vial activated on the RC. Unfortunate for him. Very, very good for early attacks. And now you can see, well, there is not much base left, but just the Queen left on offense. And she's not going to make it in time and also power will be too weak. So therefore, the backhand was just a little too tough here for Mark. And that is what makes this base so incredibly strong. The core is built exactly so the root waters as well as the main push just fins out. And you, will, and you won't have enough troops in the back end. And now the queen is also gone. And there you have a very, very nice defense. Link, of course, is in the description if you want to copy the base. Let's now take a look at another defense from early attacks. Now against Selinho. And this time actually against a Lalo attack. Not against Rootwriters. Lalo was, of course, the second strategy which a lot of pros used during World's Warm-Up. It was mainly either Rootwriters or Zip Lalo, those are by far the two quickest strategies on Town of 16. Zaps out one of the multi-tower together with the poison tower setups, then sends in the heroes for a small compartment and then wants to actually uh, make it so the queen goes towards the scatter shot and takes it out as well. But again, the clan castle comes in clutch again with this base. In the last base, we had the ice columns, which were doing a ton of work. This time, we have the archers, as well as some headhunters, which are going to decimate that queen. He won't be able to get the scatter shot, even though it was planned. And you will see this, the scatter shot is going to do a lot of work in the backhand, together with a very, very nasty place Tesla farm. Which you will see in a bit. Now he's at 51%. Tesla farm pops up. And he still of course has 20 loons. He has 20 loons left. Which he hasn't played. Still has 2 free spells. But a scatter shot in the back end. He, is, he doesn't have too many free spells. To just keep that frozen. If it was gone. Then his attack would have probably been a triple already. But since. The queen went round from the hat hunters. As well as from the archers. And didn't. Get the scatter shot. Now, the Tesla farm, of course, also does a lot of work, and you have a very, very solid defense against, well, I would say one of the best attackers in the world. And you're probably not going to get attacked by one of the best players in the world. So, if it works for early attacks, it is also going to work for you. Here, we have another anti two star base by early attacks or by Smith, how you want to see it. And this time it, get atta it gets attacked again by root fighters together with Valkyries. Same setup, queen on the one side. Then you have the barracks on the other side. This time, however, they don't zap out the ricochet cannon at the back end. So that very, very ugly setup is still left standing. And you cannot dodge it. If you go in from the bottom side... You will have it on both flanks. If you go in from, well, one of the top or the left side, then you will either have a different... And then you will always have it in the back end. You're unable to dodge it. And this time, of course, the Hat Hunter as well as Archers to see was not doing it too well against these root brothers, of course. It's mainly against Lalo, Sui Lalo. And unfortunately... At least for Regataris, he got attacked by Root Riders, but still, the Poison Towers as well as the Town of Poison did a lot of work. Look at how grouped up 
all of those root waters are the multi inferno tower is just shooting down as well as the ricochet cannon they are not moving due to the poison towers and the ricochet cannon is just shooting down shooting down and all of those root waters in the core are gone still the setup is left standing and the ricochet cannon is doing even more work took out the rc now also took out the warden the queen is unable to shoot the ricochet cannon from well either side since it's too far away from the walls. So the queen will have a very very hard time even reaching it or taking it out. She will first have to get, go through a wall of course. She still has one wall breaker fortunately for him. But still in the end the damage together with like the builder hut as well as the multi inferno tower is just way too much. So therefore this is still a defense. Which is very, very nice, of course. Drikashi can also bounces out. Also takes out the Unicorn. So there's not enough healing. And now the Ricochet Cannon ends it all. This Ricochet Cannon just comes in absolutely clutch. If you want any bases from Smith or from the rest of our ROA base building team. Which are not copied thousands of times. Then go take a look at our website and our discord server you will be able to order some really really neat bases there and if you want to see more of me my tiktok as well as my twitch are linked in the description feel free to follow me there and with that i would say see you guys next week with the next video until then see ya and bye bye